race one i've got ambitious lady she's a filly that's very limited um we sort of running out of options with her now we've tried earmuffs uh, because it looks like she gets a little bit nervous in between horses so we're hoping that will do the trick but i can't give much confidence on her if she runs a place we'll be more than happy in race two i've got comet the storm She's a full sister to the champion Komiti Ding. She's really well bred. She shows a huge amount of talent. Uh, I think she's one of my better two year olds. Um, she really is working well and she shows a lot of promise. So if, if she's not too green, which I don't think she should be, uh, I'm expecting her to win. In race three, we've got William Iron Arm. Uh, he showed a much better run last time where he stayed straight. We changed the bit and we added uh, earmuffs on him and it seemed to have done the trick. Uh, he was badly out at the weights last time. He was giving a five-time winner like Joker Man uh, five and a half kilos and we only, we only a two-time winner. So he, he really wasn't well in last time, but it was more of a run just to see if he... If, if we've gotten to the bottom of him um, and uh, all the equipment changes seem to have done the trick. He strips a bit fitter now and uh, I'm expecting a massive run from him. We've got We Are The Logans in race three as well. Uh, his form's been a bit disappointing and we're going to have to see a little bit of improvement first before we can start tipping him. In race four, we saddle House of Romanov. A lovely little horse. Uh, he's coming off a 140 day rest. He was gelded uh, and it actually turned out that he was a rig. So he had to be operated on and um, he's been quite a while off. So I think he'll uh, need the run, maybe running to back end of quartet. In race five, we've got Trippy's tune. Uh, he's been battling a bit after his maiden. Uh, we've the only positive is that we've got draw one. He hasn't had a decent draw in a while. Uh, if he can run in the money, we'll be happy. In race six, we got Fit Blitz. She's coming off a 201 day layoff. Um, we've given her as much work as we can without having a race. Uh, I think she'll need the run. Uh, it's more of a prep run for bigger things to come. In race nine, we've got Master Ariano. He's got a bit of a nasty draw to overcome, but he's not the most difficult horse to ride in the race. He sort of uh, he helps you out. So although it's not the best draw, uh, the 1800, there's a lot of uh, racetrack to get over. He's doing well. He's in a rich vein of form. And uh, if he gets lucky in running, he'll be right there again.